also talked about the fact that independence, the journalists, the media need to be independent, and they had that, they built that over there. This, in this country, we've not been able to, even though we say journalists or the media houses are independent, there are a number of things that make them not to be independent. Okay. Okay. For example, we, we are having this issue of media viability in Ghana, where a number of media houses are not able to uh, make break even or make money to pay their staff. Mm -hmm. What is happening? If a media house is not able to get adverts, it's not able to get support from anywhere, you can see that media house will not have that independence to work because they are looking elsewhere, they are looking for places where they can get resources to take care of their, their staff. But in other jurisdictions, there are systems there where media, a media house can tap into a fund, take care of its challenges, and with that, the, the, the independence, I'm talking about financial independence that will bring all that. But in a situation where you don't have that, you have the journalists thinking about themselves, the owners thinking about things to do in order to, and that ends up getting people being corrupted in, in court. You get it. And with that, you don't see them doing what they are supposed to do because they are having challenges being independent. Okay. You understand? So it's, we have a system where a lot of things do not play well for us. Mm -hmm. so, so that needs to be collect, uh, co corrected. Corrected, yes. But, but I mean, we, we, GJ has, has a, a role to play, right? Yes, yes. What have you done? We've been engaging with a number of stakeholders. We've attempted to, or we are trying to be a union mm -hmm. so we can get uh, bargaining certificate, uh, ability, we have that capacity to even um, bargain for journalists, their welfare and all that with their staff, with their, with their the companies, employers. the employers. So that is what we are trying to do to get that because as we speak, we are just an association. An association is a voluntary organization. Mm -hmm. So some people, some journalists decide to join others. So if uh, there is an issue in a particular media house. All you can do is advocacy. But, but this goes you, beyond the association lobbying for good conditions for the members. Yes. That is because just you an, also uh, have to look at the employers themselves having the capacity to pay what you're yes, looking for. Yes. That is why I said that we have an issue of uh, media entity not being viable. Yes. And I'm asking what are we doing So, So we've been engaging... Um, Primpa, uh, Giba, and the owners, mm. what to go, what to do in order to get them vibrant mm. so they get the resources to take care of their staff. Mm. I talked about having a fund. We don't have such a fund in Ghana where a media house is in distress, where you can tap in to, to, to support the staff. Mm. We need something like that. We don't have a system in place where um, a ruling government or a government in place will say that we are equally distributing adverts to media houses where a media house that is small or big, they get access to that so they can also have money to, to take care of their staff. We don't have that system in place. We are talking about having an, an economy where the advertising or the companies that will advertise who have the resources to, do the, to, to, to advertise for you to get the money. Mm. But if the economy is not strong and there are issues with the economy, the, adver uh, the companies, when they want to cut budget, they go through, the, they try to cut mm. those advertising. Uh, you get so the smaller rate. The small, and that affects, yes, mm. you get it. Mm. So that is one of the things that we need to address. Okay. When we are able to do that, mm. the independence of most of the media houses will, will be guaranteed. Mm. You know that a lot of the media houses that are little, that are strong, mm -hmm. they are strong, that are strong, they have some backing from a number of, for example, these days, media owners, most of the owners have other companies, other uh, businesses, businesses that are supporting the, the media houses. Without that, you find the media houses wanting because 
we are not generating that much. Mm. Mm. You get it. Okay. So I, <clears throat> it is an issue that needs to be addressed okay. so that the welfare of the journalists, and that gives the independence. Okay. And right. then journalists will be bold to do whatever they are doing. Mm. And then we'll, we'll go on with uh, our, our mandates. <laughs>